I'm here today to share another flip through um, of my, basically it's a grateful journal. It sort of has a tea theme. Um, it, well, it is a tea theme. Uh, it is, I absolutely fell in love with this kit. Um, it is from Shabby Art Boutique. It's uh, part of her handmade club that you can join and every month you get a absolutely gorgeous set of printables and this happened to be one month and I fell in love with it and decided that I would do something with it. So it is roughly, uh, give or take, uh, right about one and three quarters, between one and three quarters and two inches thick. Um, it is eight and three quarters long and six inches wide. And this is the front. Make sure I'm in camera today and the spine and it sort of has that whole shabby chic appeal to it and you can see like the tea cup it's a gorgeous tea theme um it is hard a hard back has a ribbon closure here so let me and it is actually doubled up so it's not just a single layer of ribbon so let me pull it over here out of the way Okay, um, and of course it has grateful tea time friends, and I just love, it almost has that, um, Royal Albert China appeal to it. Um, and of course grateful in these times right now, everybody needs something to be grateful about. Um, this is just sort of, to me, would be, oh, you could use it to regular journal, maybe to write addresses, phone numbers, um... Keep track of teas that you've tried, teas that you want to try. I mean, there's a ton of things you can use any journal for, and this one is just like that. So, um, it actually folds open. So, I'll do this side first. I love these printables that she has. It's just all the background pages, um, all of the ephemera is all from there. And there is, isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I mean, seriously. That gorgeous with the butterfly and the floral it's just it's pretty and there's a hidden journaling spot in there and that just gets tucked back here friends are the sunshine of life and there's tons of tags and things i mean her sets are really really something that are just amazing and then we have over here we've got double pockets of course there's the teacup the floral roses some of the background paper torn i mean it's just her stuff is amazing and there's a tea time friends journaling card there's some, a little bit of floral and it is all backed with tea dyed paper to make it a little easier and this is on um cardstock so it's pretty heavy weight it's tucked in there and there's that one i mean just the colors and the way they go together i just love this so Slide that in there. Then this flips over. And this is actually a journal. Of course, here's the background page. A sweet friendship refreshes the soul. I love the sayings that she has in here are just amazing. Best friends. I love the little patchwork design. And this is, again, sort of got that watercolor appeal that I've been sort of in lately. So... So I love it because it sort of gives it that faded look where you have plenty of, I mean, you could literally write over the page, but you still have the graphics in the background. So it almost gives this like watermarked feel to it in the background. And they're just gorgeous. And all of these pages have been tea dyed and in the teacup. I mean, just these graphics are just amazing. I love the music on there. The blues, the pinks are just so pretty. Love the tea sets. Of course, I collect teapots. If nobody knew that, I do collect teapots. Um, I have a bunch. And they are tied in. Of course, we have a little envelope clipped here. So there are envelopes in the kits. And I size a little envelope. I'm not sure what all's in here. I don't... Oh, it's a little expanding tag. And of course, you've got the back to journal on. 
and there's a little packet of toasted coconut almond bark tea. So there's tea in here to go along with the tea journal. And if you like coconut, mmm, that is really good tea. I love tea. Between me and my daughter, we drink tea like crazy. So, but I love just the tags. Everything in here is just, I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous. And the florals are, they're just, they're, they're just shabby chic all over. And then back here, you got the big heart that you can use to journal on. Grateful friends. Thanks. Tea time friends. Just some different little word tags that you can use throughout the journal if, as you're decorating and all that. And they're all inked up, ready to go. See, so yeah, that's just so pretty. And here's a couple more big tags. Our best friends make good times better and the hard times easier. And there is some cats and some little kittens. And this is just, it actually flips over and there's a hidden journaling spot where you could use it as a tuck and just slide a paper clip over it. So you sort of have that choice of your own. And the big tea tag, tea time friends. I'll slide this over here because I don't want that to get folded. Just sort of one of the torn pages sort of gives you that look and feel. And of course there's the back. So that is this side. And then this side sort of gets a little crazy. It says friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things, which is so true. Um, there is ribbon in here and it actually has the tea of life printed on it. It came from a tea set, um, a set of teas that I had bought my daughter and I seen the ribbon and we're like, oh, I have to use that. So it flips over and of course it's where you can put like a picture. I mean, it's perfect picture size. Um, just to give you an idea, this measures four and a half by three and three quarters. So yeah, three by four picture would fit perfectly on any of these. Or you could do, you know, like a small um, two by two or three by three if you didn't want to cover up the flowers. So it'd be absolutely adorable to put pictures of like the kids, the grandkids, your pets, you know, that type of thing. A true friend is the greatest blessing of all. I sort of have to move this around here to get it all in because it folds down and gets pretty big. Of course, and it's the stars. It says, your friendship is a gift I will always treasure with all my heart. And again, there's another pomegranate raspberry green tea. And I have a little pocket here. Of course, there's another little card there that you can use. And it has just a grateful... So you can put like a little grateful comment on there and there's a friends and there's a journaling space on there. So lots of little, there isn't a lot of lace and stuff in this. Um, just because when I was doing it, I, it was my fault. I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think about it till afterwards that I should have made it a little bit thicker so I could fit more decorative. So I am going to, um, be doing another one that's going to be have thicker spines on the edges and um, I probably will be doing that as a tutorial if anybody is interested you know just leave a comment and the thing and I will leave links to her page and the handmade club in the description box below that folds open you have just a nice flat space um, that you could decorate you could do all kinds of stuff here that you wanted to so I'm incredibly grateful for our friendship. Uh-oh, another little pack. And this ribbon, you don't even have to untie it. It'll just slide off. And it's got a little tea-dyed paper fold-out. Just a little journaling spot. It just tucks in there. Slides behind the little belly band here. Let me flip this over. This flips open. Well, if I can get my fingers to work today. And here's some tiny tags, which I absolutely love. And I'm meant to go back and put some of the ribbon in on those and all. I meant to do that and grab it. So I will add that in there. So there will be some ribbon topper, you know, some ribbon 
parts for that. So it's open. Oh, there's a glue. Every once in a while you miss that glue bubble. And it's just little pieces of paper you can either you know, write on, tear off, use it for a little notebook, use it to record individual little things. And again, here's the little notebook. So you have two little notebooks there you can write on. And then, I love that. And this flips out. And again, there's a chocolate hazelnut decaf tea. And three more other tiny little tags. And I love these little tags. And again, I'll put the ribbons in the top of those. I meant to do that. And you know how that works. I put it in there with the intent of putting it back in there. I just never got it there. So that all folds up inside of there. And again, the little ribbon, it's slide it on there. You don't even have to tie it if you don't want to. I mean, you can retie it if you want to. I wasn't going to bother with it. You have this. You've got best friends. This flips open and you have a hidden journaling spot. And then this is the second journal. So um, I'm thinking, let's see. One, two, three. Seven. So there's, let's see, seven, 14, 28 pages in each of the little journals. So 56 sides um, that you can use to journal on. So there is lots of room. There's little kitty, kitties. And we have our pocket here. We've got some tickets. This is you and me ticket. Your friendship is so precious to me. Um, isn't that cute? I love that little girl in that little dress. And this flips open just so you have a spot to write on. So just lots of little thingies tucked in, you know, that you can use to spread throughout on the journals or, you know, use it to write, whatever you want to do. And I loved the ephemera that came with the kit. And again, this is some side paper. This is actually kept open. It actually is um, a small pocket. You could use it to tuck something in, or it's just there as a journaling spot. And here's another pocket, and it's just got some of the pages because, you know, sometimes you want that to decorate. So I tried to include things that you could use, you know, when you were decorating if you wanted to sort of stay with the scheme of the scheme of things. So there's that. Oops. And then this page. Nope, I guess that's just where the pocket's at. And then this, there's a little tag with a cat on it. And then, oh, that folds out into a really cute, just sort of, sort of has a little pull tab at the top and it's just decorated so you can journal on it. I love this kit. I love the coloring on this kit. This is one of those kits that I know I'm going to use again in the future. Um, and one thing that she does is she does, her kits are available just for that month um, in the Handmade Club. But then like in February of every year, she offers that you can go back and get past kits, which makes it really nice. And again, another little, your friendship is a gift I will treasure with all my heart. And just a little, little tuck spot. And the little teapots. I love the teapots. A little bird. And there's little cats again. And then the little girls, just a little journaling card that's flipped in there. And then there's the back of that one. So yeah, I'm, I had a blast making this. So we will be doing this. So it's sort of a lap book, sort of lap book style, I guess. Um, but yeah, I had a blast making it. So definitely something we're going to be doing with the tutorial um, in the future. So, you know, if you're interested in that, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, I will be listing this in my Etsy shop later this afternoon. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Um, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible, but hopefully within the next hour or so. So, that's it. Um, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, 
we'll be back. Remember the first, we start our new journal using uh, the Paris kit um, from Junk With Stuff. Uh, check the Facebook to see more about that. I'll probably do a little intro video tomorrow, um, sort of show you the kit and what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we'll be working on that starting Thursday. So I will see you later. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and happy crafting. Bye.